each and every step that you carry out in Blender is saved out so that you can undo it uh, at any time. So for example, over here, you can see that I have a cube. I'll delete this. I'm going to press Shift A. And let's say I'm going to bring in a sphere right here. I'm going to add in another cylinder right here. And let's say I'm going to move this out right here, just like this. And maybe I'm, I want to go around over here and add a material onto it, add in a color to this, just like this. And let's just go around right here. So this is what I have. This is what I have right here. So let's say I'm going to go around right here. And then there you go, there's the color. And then I'm going to add in a material for this one as well. And let's say I'm going to change the base color for this one as well. I'm going to, let's say, for example, press tab right here. So there you go. I am in my editing mode. And let's say I move this out. I mean, I edited the, that thing out right there. So this is what I have. So all the steps that we just did is saved out. And you can access that out by using the undo history. And you can access the undo history by going around into edit. And over here, you can see undo history is an option. And once I click on it, you can see that all of the thing right here is here. So you can see that first I selected, then there's add UV sphere, add cylinder. So I can go around and go on to that particular section area right here. Or I can go to undo history right here. I can also go around into the other part. So let's say I want to go around to the area when I did the box select. So you can see that I'm on the selection part right there. So similarly, all the steps are saved out. And this is what I am in right now. So let's say you want to go on to this area right here. I got the box select. You can do around and change out from that section. So you want to quickly skip out a few steps that you did. You want to correct your mistakes. You can go around and then work around with the undo history. But as you add in new moves, you can see that from that portion onwards, the new portion will be deleted. And that is how you can use the undo history inside of Blender to quickly move out and um, uh, go back a few steps so that you can correct out the mistakes that you might have done. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.